This is a real quick video just to show you how to get into the PowerPoints and some of the videos for on Glencoe Biology. You would sign in with MyBooks 8 for the user name and password and then log in. That is going to take you to all of the high school material specifically for biology. Click in on the title of the book for the teacher's edition and that's exactly what it will bring up but from the teacher's edition you can get to all the resources so what I would do is I would go in like the table of contents I'm going to pick chapter 3 and lesson 11 or chapter 11 out of unit 3 and when I go into that to get to the PowerPoints I want to click on resources and then at the chapter level I want to click on Classroom Presentation Toolkit. And when I click on that, it's going to do a download file and you're going to save that file. It's going to be a zip file because it has all the animations, the videos, and those materials in it. So when you pull that down, you're going to have to unzip it. To do that, simply right click on it and do Extract All. It will pull everything out into a new folder when you open that the PowerPoint will be right in that folder. Um, so it's downloading that particular folder that's done. So you can see it doesn't take all that long to actually do the download. And then I want to click that folder um, inside. You're going to notice here's my biology PowerPoint for chapter 11 and then all of the animations, transparencies, the virtual lab are all built into that folder when you do that. Um, let me give you an example then of what the PowerPoint would look like. Um, it actually then opens as a regular PowerPoint, so it means you can go in and edit any of the slides. But if I go to Slideshow and go to the beginning, it immediately gives me the sections. I can click into any section. When I pull that up, we've embedded in it the videos. There's audio vocabulary built in here. Um, fairly nice visuals that go along with it you can see but you're still going to want to do it for the for the virtual lab that's embedded in here I can click on that and it will actually bring up that virtual lab and I can go in and interact with that when I get done I can close out or if I don't want to use the PowerPoint I can click on the resources tab and this brings up all of the pieces of the PowerPoint so I can go into the image bank and use just the images without using um, the whole PowerPoint where I can do the same thing with the animations. There's one on visualizing non-disjunction that's available in there when I go in. So I'm going to click out of that for a second and go back and answer the one other question. Where do you find the videos? They're at point of view. So what I want to do is go into a chapter like under unit. I want to look at interactive learning. There's a video here at the unit level. What's biology got to do with it? I can click in on that and view it many of the units have one of those that's, that are available and then to go through the chapter I would simply click under interactive learning for the chapter level and then I would look at each section as well too and say what's an interactive learning so I've got a couple animations right here some interactive tables if I click into lesson two and look under interactive learning I've got an inquiry piece right here so my virtual lab is linked in there and then if I go to section three and look at interactive learning, I have some more concepts in motion. Just depending on the chapter will depend on the number of videos that are available. Um, just for example, if I back up and go into unit one, and I'm just gonna go to chapter four because I know the location of this one. If I click into chapter four, I can look under my resources now um, at the unit level, I look under interactive learning. I've got a video right here that goes along with it. But then when I go into the lesson level, um, I can't remember if it's section one or two. Let me go back to section two. Interactive learning. There's a video here, and this is a brain pop video that goes along with it. So they're numbered and embedded, but they're embedded in the chapters. So you can flip through those and look at those. So I hope this is helpful. If you have further questions, um, please let us know.